is Jeopardy. Please welcome our contestant. Player one. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. That's my ma. Be fruitful and multiply. Bible heroes. Belgium, Belarus, or Belize. Ike speaks. And top 40 hitmakers. Player one, you start. At the burning bush, God told him he was the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Player one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Player one. Pick again. Goliath mocked him, saying, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? Player one? <laughs> right. <laughs> We return to you, player one. In Luke, he is quoted as saying, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh. Yes, player one? <laughs> hey, you're right. We return to you, player one. When Jesus saw this tax collector and first gospel writer, he told him to follow me. Player one? Yes. <laughs> Player one, choose again. In Judges, he said, With the jaw of an ass have I slain a thousand men. Let's hear it, Player one. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. In 1758, Ben Franklin issued his last publication of this annual. It's player one. Oh. Here's what we were looking for. Poor Richard's Almanac. Player one. Pick again. Game fish of the family Istiophoridae with a pointed snout. Here's the response we were looking for. The marlin. Player one. You pick again, please. A doctor who specializes in the treatment of skin diseases. It's player one. Right. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Here's Kelly with the clue. Its silhouette is seen here. It's player one. Yep. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next selection. Dr. Faustus, playwright. Here is what we wanted. Christopher Marlowe. Player one, choose again. Multiply five times five times five to get this. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. It's three times four times five times six. Yes, player one? <laughs> right you are. Please pick again, player one. It's negative ten times six times negative nine. Yes, player one? Yeah. Right you are. <laughs> player one, back to you. 17 times 2 times 6 equals this. Okay, player one? Woo! That's correct. <laughs> We return to you, player one. 33 times 33 
equals this. It's player one. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> player one, choose again. 12.30, young girls are coming to the canyon and California dreaming. Here's the correct response. The mamas and the papas. Player one, choose again. Brother loves traveling salvation show and sweet Caroline. Here's the correct response. Neil Diamond. Player one, you pick again, please. What would you say? And crash into me. Here's what we were looking for. The Dave Matthews Band. You get to pick again, player one. Saturday night special and woo, free bird. Here's what we wanted. Leonard Skinner. Please pick again, player one. <laughs> Answer. It's yeah. the Daily Double. Woo. You are in the lead right now. Player one, give us a wager and the clue. Harry Truman and 25 or 6 to 4. Oh. Sorry. That's wrong. We're talking about Chicago. Player one, pick again. The largest in area. The correct response is Belarus. Please pick again, player one. The farthest south. Okay, player one. That is correct. We return to you, player one. The most populous. The correct response is Belgium. Player one, back to you. It's landlocked. It's player one. Yes. <laughs> you again, player one. It's part of the British Commonwealth of Nations. Here's what we were looking for. Belize. You get to pick again, player one. Eisenhower said, no treaty or international agreement can contravene this document. Yes, player one. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Ike telegrammed that the mission of his allied force was fulfilled at 0241 hours local time in this month, 1945. Player one? Woo! Correct. <laughs> Player one, choose again. Of this man's contributions to major White House decisions, Ike said, if you give me a week, I might think of one. The correct response is Richard Nixon. Select again. In 1957, Ike used the full power of the United States to enforce integration at Central High in this city. Here's what we were looking for, Little Rock. And the last clue for $1,000. Eisenhower said appointing him to the Supreme Court was the biggest damn fool mistake I ever made. We're talking about Earl Warren. The Full Jeopardy round will begin right after this. Clues are worth $400 to $2,000 in these categories. Medicine, men and women. Right on, soldier. Entertainment history. Hello, Delhi. World leaders. And what the H? Note the quotation marks. Let's get back into this now. You have control of the board. In 1999, Thabo Mbegi, who fought to eliminate apartheid, 
became leader of this country. Yes, player one? Good for you! <laughs> player one, you pick again, please. Hu Jintao became the general secretary of the Communist Party in 2002 and leader of this country in 2003. Player one? Here's what we were looking for. China. You again, player one. Here's Jimmy. The country whose flag is seen here elected its first female chancellor in 2005. It's player one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. In 2006, Stephen Harper of this country's conservative party became its prime minister. Here is what we wanted. Canada. You get to pick again, player one. In 2008, Tillman Thomas became prime minister of this Caribbean country, invaded by the U.S. in 1983. Here's the response we were looking for. Grenada. Player one, choose again. On January 10th, 2010, this island republic was struck by a devastating earthquake. It's player one. Yeah! Right you are. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. It's the HT in HTTP and HTML. Yes, player one? Right. You get to pick again, player one. Olympic event won twice by Jackie Joyner Kersey. The correct response is the heptathlon. You get to pick again, player one. In the 18th century BC, he wrote down his famous list of do's and don'ts. We're talking about Hammurabi. You again, player one. Used in marching bands, it's a large bass tuba that encircles the player's body. Here's the correct response. The helicon. Player one, choose again. A student at Sandhurst, he later served in British military intelligence before creating his British super spy. Here's the response we were looking for. Ian Fleming. Select again. This author of Starship Troopers was a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. Here's the correct response. Robert Heinlein. Please pick again, player one. Lou Wallace served as a major general in this war before penning Ben-Hur. The correct response is the Civil War. Player one, back to you. Edward Gibbon was a captain in the Hampshire Grenadiers before writing the decline and fall of this empire. The correct response is the Roman. Select again. This Grecian fought at Salamis and Marathon. His 70 plays include the Oresteia and Prometheus Bound. The correct response is Aeschylus. Player one, pick again. Born William Claude Dukenfield, he took this last name as his stage name. We're talking about Fields. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Dance style of brothers and Kennedy Center honorees, Fayard and Harold Nicholas. We're talking about tap. Player one, choose again. In vaudeville, Jerry, Helen, Josephine, and George M. were the four these. Here's the response we were looking for. The Cohans. Player one, choose again. <laughs> Answer, the first of the Daily Doubles. And you have the lead.
So, what's your wager? The clue, Rochester. Did you know that in 1953, Harry Shearer played this comic as a boy on his self-titled TV program? Oh, sorry. That's, here's the correct response. Jack Benny. Player one, pick again. Kathy Lewis was this title character paired with Fibber McGee on a 50s TV show based on a hit radio show. Here's what we were looking for, Molly. Please pick again, player one. In 1968, a federal court found this author and pediatrician guilty of violating the Selective Service Act. The correct response is Benjamin Spock. You get to pick again, player one. In 1659, Italian anatomist Marcello Malpighi discovered that the lungs were made up of these tiny air sacs. Here's the correct response, alveoli. Please pick again, player one. This German bacteriologist developed a test for syphilis and an inoculation for tetanus. Here's the correct response, August von Wassermann. Please pick again, player one. Answer, <laughs> the other daily double. And you're in the lead now. What are you going to wait for? The clue, in 1796, he inoculated eight-year-old James Phipps with material from a cowpox pustule from Sarah Nelms. That's it. Select again. In 1889, Susan LaFleche Picotte, a member of this Nebraska tribe, became the first Native American female doctor. Here's the correct response. Omaha. Player one, back to you. I think I'll just have a nosh, a bagel, cream cheese, and the Nova Scotia type of this. Here's the correct response. Lox. Select again. I'll have one of these city omelets stuffed with ham, onions, and green peppers. Okay, player one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Player one, back to you. Someone pass me this noodle pudding filled with raisins and nuts. Okay, player one. <gasps> Sorry, that's wrong. Here is what we wanted, Kugel. We return to you, player one. It's a good night for one of these Jewish turnovers with a meat or potato filling. Here's the correct response, a knish. Here's the $2,000 clue. Something smells fishy. Must be this chopped fish patty mixed with crumbs and eggs and served cold in a jellied broth. We're talking about gefilte fish. Looks like you'll be moving on to Final Jeopardy after this commercial break. Final Jeopardy still to come, and here's the category. Notable women. Please enter your wager. And now the last clue. In 1963, she said, I feel as though I'm suddenly on stage for a part I never rehearsed. What did you put as your response? Sorry, that incorrect response will drop your score by... Here's the response we were looking for. Lady Bird Johnson. Player yeah. one, congratulations to you. So long.